Hi, I'm Manvi Rajput. Today I'm going to tell you about uses and technique of application of phonophoresis. Phonophoresis is also known as ultrasonophoresis, which is the movement of drugs through skin and subcutaneous tissue under the influence of ultrasound. It is mainly used in physiotherapy setup and it is also used to increase the level of plasma, enhancement or absorption of topically applied medicine and to increase the concentration in fat tissue. It is used to treat inflammation and pain in muscles, joints and ligaments. It can be used alone or in a treatment or a part of a therapy plan. Conditions for which it is used are tendinitis, bursitis, carpal tunnel syndrome, osteoarthritis of knee, tennis elbow, temporomandibular joint dysfunction, and open wound healing. And now for the technique used to apply phonophoresis consists of first, explain the patient about the benefits of treatment and what kind of feeling he will experience. Examine the skin thoroughly and check for any kind of scars or wounds. Make the patient lie or sit in a comfortable position depending on the treatment area. Ask the patient to expose the treatment area. Then the machine testing should be done by water fountain test. Now the ointment can be applied by two methods. First, you can mix it with ultrasound gel which will act as a couplant and apply it over this transducer head. Or you can just rub the ointment on the skin to be treated and move the transducer head over it. Ultrasound gel is mandatory to be used. Now therapists that will apply ointment mixed with gel over the treatment area with the help of a spatula. Now the ointments used in this phonophoresis consist of hydrocortisone, zinc, iodine, salicyclate and lidocaine. Ultrasound head is moved over the skin in the usual manner. Treatment time depends upon the area to be treated. Max to max 15 minutes when the treatment is done, clean the residue of the drug left on the transducer head and patient's skin. Examine the patient's skin thoroughly and check for any kind of infection or arrhythmia. Documentation should be maintained which shall consist of type of machine used, intensity, treatment time and type of ointment used.